It's quick and easy to edit your shipments in Ready Shipper. There are two basic ways to edit any shipment before processing and printing your shipping label. The first is to select an individual order and go down to the bottom half of the screen under the Options tab. In the Options tab, you're going to find the most common options that you need to change in the fly. For example, the Ship Via drop-down allows you to select from the different carriers, and then the Ship Type allows you to select the different shipping methods with that carrier. You'll also see a Calculated Weight and Override Weight field. It's very easy to adjust the weight of the shipment. Now, The Calculated Weight is set based on the number of items and the unit weight of each item. As you can see, we have six items at two pounds a piece for a total of 12 pounds. But it's easy to override that weight with the override weight field. If this shipment's actually going to be 14 pounds, simply type in 14 pounds and it now ignores the calculated weight. You can also even use a USB scale by plugging it in and using the W button or F5 key in order to take a scale weight. You'll also see the insurance value and insurance type fields. Now, the key note on this is that there's always going to be an insurance type selected, but that doesn't mean you're insuring the shipment. In order to add an insurance value to an individual shipment, simply type it into the insurance value field, and you're now insuring the shipment for $300. You'll also be able to select from the package type dropdown for some shipping methods that have flat rate options like priority mail. So you'll find all your priority mail flat rate options under the package type drop down. Now you can also use this method to make group changes to orders. Simply select the orders up to 200 that you'd like to make one overriding change to and use the bottom half of the screen to make that change. I can now select UPS, 3 day select and you can see both orders are updated automatically. That works as well for any of the other options found in the Options tab. Now if you don't see what you're looking for in the Options tab, simply double click on the order and open the Order Inspector. The Order Inspector actually has every piece of information that you've imported into Ready Shipper. You'll see there's different categories here, like Shipping Address. If you want to edit the address that this shipment's being sent to, then you can simply go in here and select the part of the address you want to change. I want to update this to 123 Main Street. You can see that change has been made and it's now applied to that order. If you're looking for a category that you're having trouble finding, that's exactly what the search bar is there for. So if you want to locate future ship date and set this to ship tomorrow, you can do that and it's now updated automatically. Once you remove future from the search bar, you'll actually see where that particular category is located for the next time you need to use it. This same technique can be used to make batch changes as well. Simply select a group of orders, go up to the view menu, and then show inspector. You'll also see the hotkey control I will work as well. It will open up and then will tell you inspector editing X number of orders. Now any change you make will automatically be applied to all those orders that are selected. As you can see here, we can change them back to Express One, Priority Mail, and that change is made for both of them. Any change you make in here will be instantly applied to all your orders, and then you simply need to close it to be able to actually ship and process those orders. As you can see, it's very easy to make changes on the fly in Ready Shipper. Get started with your own free trial today.